Hello, Mr. Kaczynski here with you. Going to work through, continue working through IXL's 8th grade math section F. And today it's solve equations using square roots. And really that title tells you everything you need to know about how to solve this equation. Um, if, if W squared equals 4, then W should be the square root of 4. So if we just take the square root of this number, just like we would take the square root of a perfect square, we'll get W equals 2. And then when we check our, our math here, 2 squared equals 4. But isn't it also true that negative 2 squared equals 4? Yes, it is. That means there's really, we need both square roots of 4, not just the positive square root. Okay, so we need the positive and the negative square root of 4. Positive 2 and negative 2. And then from there, it's pretty much the same thing. Take the square root of both sides. And we get our solutions. Negative 6 and positive 6. 6 squared, 6 times 6, that's 36. Negative 6 squared, negative 6 times negative 6 is also 36. Uh, take the square root of both sides here. H is 14. 14 times 14 is 196, just like negative 14 times negative 14 is 196. They get bigger, they get a little bit tougher. I know that 15 squared is... 225, 16 squared. I know that'll end in a 6 because 6 squared is 36, so this must be 16 or negative 16. One more to drive it home. If I take the square root of this, I'll get G. And if I take the square root of this, I'll get my values of G, but we want the positive and the negative. So negative 20 or positive 20. All right, and that's a very quick introduction to solving equations using square roots. Good luck.